Aflatoxins are inhabiting fungus in the soil that affect cereals such as maize, granites, and sorghum during or after cultivation. Consumption of aflatoxin cereals may have health implications and may even lead to death. Experts have called for an intensive education on the effect of aflatoxins, especially to farmers who may cultivate these cereals. Researchers from KNUSD say the rate of aflatoxins in cereals, especially maize in Ghana, is high. They say granites and sorghums are also at risk. In a research conducted by the International Institute for Tropical Agriculture, IITA, and a research team from the University of Science and Technology, KNUSD, and CSIR, it came up that the quality of a lot of the maize on the market is poor due to aflatoxins. These inhabiting fungus affect the cereal during pre- and post-harvest periods as a result of delayed harvesting or planting, poor storage, and poor agricultural practices. Aflatoxins are estimated to cause 5 to 30 percent of liver cancers when infected maize or cereals are eaten. Aflatoxin it causes liver cancer. It is associated with stunting of children. It is associated with immune suppression. It's associated with Quashikar. Okay. And so it actually has a large amount of both, and it also causes death sometimes. So it has got a large amount of acute and chronic effects. Aflatoxins compromise food security, health and trade in developing countries. Experts at a panel discussion called for policies to be implemented to educate and control aflatoxins in Ghana. A lecturer at the University of Science and Technology, Professor Richard Ewa, said it was important to develop a robust regulation to help control aflatoxins in Ghana. To properly monitor and regulate aflatoxin, Ghana will have to improve her capacity for detecting and monitoring the toxins in food so that only foods that are safe are permitted in the market. The executive director of the Ghana Standards Authority, Professor Alex Dodu, commended researchers who have produced a natural product that reduces aflatoxins. He said when quality is compromised, food safety and health is not compromised. He said when quality is compromised, food safety and health is also compromised. We would ensure that we force these things Enforce it because it's in everybody's interest. Development partners and researchers are optimistic that Ghana can reduce the high impact of aflatoxins in maize and its health effect with the right quantities of the natural aflatoxin reducing product on their maize farms.